We're going on a road trip today, but first I need to get a little gasoline in my van. Quinientos de verde, por favor. By the way, it's customary to tip five or ten pesos to the guy who pumps your gas in Mexico. Don't forget to tip. Today we're heading straight up towards Guadalajara, and if we went ahead about an hour, we'd be into the middle of Guadalajara. We're not actually going that far today. This is also the way to the airport, which is about 10 kilometers short of being in Guadalajara. We're going to go off in a slightly different direction and I'll show you a map and tell you what's going on in a minute. So today we're going to the IMSS hospital in Talajimoco. It's Hospital Cien Ochenta 180. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. We have a yearly appointment here to get special permission for some of the meds that we need. The local clinic that we go to can't prescribe a couple of them, so we have to go up here to the hospital once a year to the traumatologist to get special permission. You're looking very nice today. Thank you. All dressed up for the doctor? I don't know. Is he cute? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know if it's... We, we, if do it, this, we do this every year and we never see the same doctor. I, I know. I wouldn't know if we did or not. Why not? I don't pay any attention to them. Oh. Okay. Not to what they say or not what they look like. See the corn? Yeah. It ain't as high as an elephant's eye. Come on, that was going to be on my line. Oh. Erase it. Erase it. The corn is as high as an elephant's eye. That's pretty good. Thanks. I think you hit those notes just fine. What are those over there? Cows or sheep? Where? Uh, you can't see them. Right? Cows or sheep? Yeah. Buffalo. I think it's a They're buffalo. White. They're white. It's, oh, the white buffaloes. Those look, are really special. Like, look, you have to have ceremonies and stuff. Look. And you can see. Yep, it's a buffalo. Look at that. I don't see one. <laughs> no, they're gone. Yeah, white buffaloes do that. They weren't buffaloes. No? They were cows. Probably Brahma bulls. I don't know. If you grew up in South Dakota, you know what a buffalo is. Yeah. Ameri they... American bison. <laughs> Buffaloes actually come from Africa. Water buffaloes. Water buffalo. What we see, we call it a buffalo, is actually a bison. Yeah. This here I know. The other day when we did a road trip to Costco, we went west out of Ahihi towards Hokotepec and then up into the southeast part of Guadalajara. If you want to go into the center part of Guadalajara, it's better to go east out of Ahihi and take the Libramento and go straight up into the center of Guadalajara. But today we're taking this route and we're going past that other lake called Cahitlan and then on up into Talajamoco. It's kind of a convoluted route and this hospital's kind of hard to get to. We have an 11 o'clock appointment at the hospital, but on the way back I'll have more time. We'll go past the Lake Cahitlan and the little town that's there on the shore of it. It's a really cute little place. Well, this isn't the first tope today, and it certainly won't be the last. Topes, speed bumps, 
the Bane of Mexico. This drive from Ahihik up to the IMSS Hospital number 180 takes about an hour. And most of it is a very good road. It rained real hard last night, so there's going to be some puddles. I put this in here because it's very nice how long this wall is and how much of it is painted in a mural. This walkway above the road, they have these all over Mexico and you never ever see anybody using them. It's like somebody's brother-in-law got a contract to make them and it's just too much work to go up the stairs and over the bridge and down the stairs it's so much easier to just cross the road. We're getting close to Tlajamoco now and if you see the sign up here it says Guadalajara and Colima. If you go straight ahead here you run into the autopista that runs from Guadalajara straight south to the ocean and that would be to the state of Kalima and the city of Kalima. We're turning right here and going up into downtown Tlajamoco. This isn't the only way to get here to this hospital, but it's the way that I've decided is the least amount of traffic and the least amount of time for me. There's some of those puddles we're talking about. Watch this guy blow through the stop sign. Well, I didn't see anybody stop. <laughs> That's a cop. Stop. I'm going to point out stop signs that we go through today. There's another one coming up. Wait for it. Watch. Did anybody stop at the stop sign? Alto. That means stop. <laughs> no. Let me talk about that for a second. It's not a problem here in Mexico. It's a problem when I go back to the United States and I'm used to, after all these years, watching cars instead of signs, which is what Mexicans do. And it works in Mexico, but in the United States, uh, you're gonna get honked at and you're gonna get the middle finger salute a lot. There's another one, did you see it? A stop sign, nobody stopped. Here's two more. There's one. And here's the second one. I should be getting ready, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> the cars just kind of watch out for each other is what happens. And nobody gets excited about it. And we're arriving at the IMSS. Hospital number 180. This is a new hospital built about uh, six years ago, I think, and it's very modern inside. It's always very clean, except for maybe in the restrooms. The restrooms won't have uh, toilet seats, and uh, paper might be an option. We're going to park here. It's 20 pesos for all day. That's like uh, dollar ten U.S. This is a busy place. Something is going to happen that I want to point out to you as I'm driving over here to pick up Lynn and she's walked out to a yellow curb so that she doesn't have to walk so far. 
I'm going to drive around in back of that white car. And probably I'm doing something illegal. Certainly I'm not supposed to stop on the yellow curb here, but watch the car on the left. I have blocked him. I've driven right in front of him. And you know what I got from him? I got a smile. And he drove around me. Bienvenidos de Mexico. In my video, I should talk about how nice people were. Yeah, they were just unbelievable. Nowhere in the United States. People got up and offered you their chair because yes. you had a cane. Because and, I had a cane. And because you're. And there were two people yeah. that got stood up and showed me their chair. saved us oh, yes. another whole trip up here. Yes. Once a year we come and there are three medications and now we've always got them from special permission from traumatology. Well now a traumatologist can't prescribe one of them so you had to go to the neurologist. Amazing. So what he did instead of having us go back to our local clinic, get a referral, come back up here another day. He went to a different department, cleared out at the other end of the hospital, brought back the neurologist who ex explained things to her. She took our paperwork and said, come and see me when you get done here, which we did. There's many, many people waiting in the waiting room. When the patient came out, she looked out the door, she saw me, waved me in, took care of us today. I'm... And then... Of all these years in Mexico, I know how nice people are and how nice doctors are, but that blew me away. living in Mexico because of Mexicans. We've always Another said day that. that just shows us that's proof. True. These little three-wheeler thingies are uh, taxis. And I think that the three of these are just having a road race. They just look like they're having fun with each other. You see these out on the beach in Puerto Vallarta, but I've never seen in, in around here anywhere else but here in Tolajamalco. Does this count as dog content? Oh, stop signs, stop lights too. See that? Watch the motorcycle that's coming towards us. No more cars coming, no use waiting for the green light. And we're getting back on the main road that runs from the highway Chapala to Guadalajara and 
Pajaro piece that runs between them. It's actually called sometimes the Southern Periferico. We are now entering that little town called Cahitlan. It's also the name of the lake that the town is on. This is a very clean, very interesting little town. I think a lot of people from Guadalajara have weekend homes down here on this lake. So between Lake Chapala and this lake are 8,000 foot mountains. Those mountains are very important to the air quality at Lakeside where I live in Ahihik um, and Chapala, Hakotapec. We're isolated by those mountains from the air pollution in Guadalajara and sometimes it can be very bad. I mean a city of between four and five million people, um, lots of cars, lots of air quality problems occasionally when there's temperature inversions, etc. Pretty nice this time of year in terms of air quality because the rains scrub the air, I guess. This is a one-way street. Oh, I wanted to show you this building. It's made out of adobe, so it's probably a really old building. Adobe is about a foot wide and about a foot and a half long made out of mud and straw to give it structural support. Lots of little places to eat along here. We're almost to the water and this is a one-way street and I really don't know how to get back out of here. Hopefully there's a one way going the other way. I'm going to park here and take a little walk out on the Malacon. Cahitlan, the Pueblo of Cahitlan. Cahitlan is known for a particular Mexican festival. It's the festival of the three kings. On January 6th, the three wise men arrive to give presents to the baby Jesus. So they dress up the three kings in another town not here, and then they come over here and they do a ceremony out on the lake with the three kings. Uh, that's the day that Mexican children get presents, not on Christmas Day, because that's the day that Jesus got presents. Huge dining area here with uh, lots of different restaurants there. I'm sure that's a lively place on the weekend. Oh, automated baño. Put your money in the white box. Get into the bathroom. And finally, dog content. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.